So it's going to go up and out. Uh, what I mean by two-way is you can come over here, you can press that, close it, you can open it from that side. Both ways. What's up guys, Vex here, I'm back with another video, this time this video is on Scrap Mechanic, um, I don't really see a series coming out of this, but I do see maybe uploading every once in a while when I make builds and put them on the community market. So I actually built something for the community um, in the marketplace, not the marketplace, what is it, the um, workshop, there we go, the community workshop. Um, I will have a link to it in the description, and I just want to show you how it worked and how you could get it going in your scrap mechanic world so first things first when you download it you use your lift it's gonna show up right down here somewhere where you are is it um no here we go Vex's warehouse sorry for the lag all right um so this is what i made um, it comes with a seamless glass piston door. Actually, you know, we'll just show you how to get it into the world and how to make it work first. So after you get it for the workshop, which the link will be in the description, um, you do build. All right, you pick it up like this. Look for entrance area. All right, go ahead over here. Put down one block, just like that. Next thing you want to do, build up like that. No, that's not going to work. Sorry. All right. What happened there? Anyway, build up about there. That should work. The reason you do this is because when you drop this, you're going to come over here. It's going to be right in the perfect spot where you could dodge out of the way when you drop it. Let me get rid of this seat. All right. So drop the thing. It's going to lag. Expect that. All right. Next thing you want to do is come to this corner with your welding tool. Come over here. Switch the direction, weld it, and now the lag is gone. Now, I have a reset button here, because you see everything's glitching out. What you do is you press this. Everything should be working now. This you can delete, honestly. It doesn't matter anymore. It's just when you first put it in the world. You can take this and uh, delete it if you really want. Alright, so let's go over the wiring real quick. Actually, let me show you what, what the... Um, the thing has to offer. So this has a two-way working garage that works realistically like a garage. So it's going to go up and out. Uh, what I mean by two-way is you can come over here. You can press that to close it. You can open it from that side. Both ways work. Next, we have a seamless piston door. Pulls out. Goes in. Same thing. Two-way working switch. Um, comes on, it comes with the lights in the beginning, just for the entrance. A little bit of aesthetics here and there, a little room right here. Um, I left all this open so that you can create whatever you want with this place. We'll go over some other things that it has. It has a working conveyor belt. It has a retracting, um, staircase, so you can, uh... You know, work on it upstairs if you want. Um, left some room for maybe some door designs that you guys want to do. And the last thing it comes with is this computer. Now, in order for this computer to work, you have to press 1 to turn on the computer. You'll see it up there. Or you can come over here and actually turn it on yourself. And then it's just for fun. You press the buttons and it's like you're working at a computer. All right, so let's go over the wiring and how all this stuff works real quick. So most of these are 
Like the doors are uh, D flip flop doors, I believe that's what you call it. They all have sensors. Like there's a sensor right there that tells tells the circuit when the door is open or closed. So since it's open, the sensor isn't picking it up. Click this. Now the door is the sensor is picking it up. Um, and what that does is allows the D flip flop to actually cycle back and forth. Um, yeah, the circuits. Pretty com complicated when you look at it. Um, same thing with this. It goes up to a D flip flop. It's hidden in the floor up there. Um, and the sensor is right there. So that's going to tell you when the garage door is open. Um, this one is actually all controllers. And the reason why I did controllers uh, for rotation and not an engine is because it works just a lot, a lot more smooth. Um, everything works at a single pace and it's just it's just lag free and um, doesn't cause any bugs, which is really cool. Um, and yeah, all the circuitry is in there. Um, that one uses a T flip flop, maybe. I forget the names of what these uh, things are. You could see right there. I'm not gonna go over how to wire those up because they are difficult. Uh, so I'll show you the D the D flip flop real quick. There we go. That's with the sensor. Um, you're not gonna find a tutorial on how to work this out with the sensor and everything. Um, I had to figure this all out by myself. Aside from the D flip flop, I had some help with the D flip flop with the YouTube video. Um, but the other stuff about sensing and you know using buttons to cycle back and forth that's all original by me. I don't know if anybody else has done it, but um, I know that I figured that out myself. Um, and for the computer, it's using an end gate, and the end gate is pretty much telling you that that has to be on. So let's say you click number two. It's going to have to figure out with an end gate whether this is on. Oh, uh, well, th whether this is on. Um, and that is on. See how the two is going to that blue spot right there, and that one, which is the switch to the power, is going to the two spot also. And the output is that button right there. Um, well, that screen, part of the screen. So those are all end gates in there, and that's what we're using for the um, the cycling of back and forth. So the reason why it hits two is because you're seeing the corresponding end gate that's connected to the switch as well. So you see the top left, that's where the switch and, the, and this button is connected to, and it's outputting the second button, which is one down on the next row. Um, I made it random, so you know you get all different things when you press these buttons. And when it's, and when it's off, oh, turn off, there we go. That will power down, and no longer does it work because the end gates, how they work is it has to have two inputs, um, and both inputs have to be on to put out a signal. So that's how that works. But yeah, just a little quick video on this little warehouse I built. And if you guys want to use it, you're more than welcome to use it and, you know, expand on it and with your own creations. Um, the reason why I didn't do more, as in um, more decorations and more of these contraptions is because that lag that you saw in the beginning when you first put it into the world um when it's loose and not and not welded to the floor by that one block um it would have been a lot worse and i didn't want that to happen so yeah that's it thank you for watching guys um once again if you want to download my warehouse the link is in the description thank you for watching remember to like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys next time Thank you.